Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. So for today's video I'm bringing you guys a huge PLT haul. I feel like it's been a while since I've actually sat and filmed a haul but I've got so much stuff here to show you guys. And Also it's that time of year now, Boxing Day sales, January sales, Christmas sales, they're all going on. I feel like now is the perfect time to treat yourself to little bits that you've been seeing on the PLT website. I do want to say a massive thank you to PLT for working with me on this video. It's literally just the best working with PLT because they're one of my favourite brands. PLT is the number one place I go to when I'm going, especially on like out, out outfits. They always have the sickest stuff on there. I'm going to show you guys everything that I picked up from PLT. I'll leave all the links in the description box as well. So if you want to go and shop any of the bits that I've picked up, it's just easy to find it. It's all there. Yeah, I'm going to end the video. So if you do enjoy, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got a lot to get through. I want to say a lot. I mean one two three four big bags of stuff to get through so let's go i'm gonna start with this bag because i think this has just got a pair of shoes in okay knee high boots i never used to be a boots wearer especially pointy toe ones i don't know what it is especially when coming into like autumn winter time baggy t-shirts knee high boots that kind of thing my go to for a night out so i picked up these black faux leather boots they've got like a crop print all over them and the reason i picked out these ones specifically because the heel they are high heels but they're not too high that they're going to be painful so i've had some heels in the past where they're like this high and oh my god this part of my foot here aches i've been on the lookout for some heels that aren't too high but aren't midi and i feel like these are the perfect heel height for me they're a pointy toe like i said i feel like these are so classy like there's so many ways you can style boots like this my favorite way like i said is baggy t-shirts but i do also love the look of like a baggy t-shirt blaze over the top and then your knee high boots as well and i actually don't own a black pair of knee high boots that are comfortable enough to actually wear out so i'm really excited to have these i stuck to my size and these are on size five i do sometimes struggle with knee high boots because i've got i think the term is wide calves is that right i don't know if that's actually the right term but i saw someone on tiktok and i was like i relate to you these ones actually look like they're gonna fit my calves in which is ideal but yeah i love those and i feel like you, everybody needs a black pair of knee high boots in their wardrobe so I'm buzzing to have these. I can't wait to try them on. I can see another box in this bag. So I think it might be another pair of boots. So let's do these next. And then we can get onto the clothes. Yeah, we've got another pair of boots here. Whoa. These ones are not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Like that is completely fair. I like things that are a little bit different. A little bit out there. Let's say. Look at these boots. I've picked up a gold pair of knee high boots. These are so extra. But these are for like a perfect for New Year's Eve. Perfect for birthdays. Perfect for any celebration. If you want to be the main character... This is where it's at. The only thing is, I'm not going to lie, that heel looks a little bit higher on these ones. So I'm hoping they're going to be comfortable to wear. But I think with these boots, because they are just so extra, I'm going to wear them regardless of whether they're comfortable or not. They're not just like plain black boots that you can get a comfortable version of. These are so extra. I actually love these. Imagine this with like all black outfit, like black baggy t-shirt, black cycling shorts, black blazer, gold bag, gold boots... They are so extra. I love those. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I think they're sick. So moving on to the clothes now. The first thing I picked up was just a little basic. I feel like everybody needs these in their wardrobe, especially this time of year to layer because it is so cold. So I picked up this little black long sleeve top and the quality of this is unreal. It's really thick. It's kind of like, it's not quite a slinky material. It's thicker than that, but it's not scuba. It's kind of like an in-between of the two. But it's such a nice thick material. We've got a little round neck, which this is going to sound weird, but like I love when a round neck's small. So it's going to be like really tight the top of your neck not really much more to say about it because it is literally just a plain black long sleeve top but i don't actually have any of these i don't think in my wardrobe especially not ones that aren't see-through there's nothing worse when you get little tops like this put them on and you can just see everything through it so i picked this up in a size 10 and i already know i'm gonna get so much use out of this so underneath jumpers underneath coats underneath blazers with little joggers everything such a staple that everybody needs in their life and then i picked up the exact same top in like this silvery gray color I feel like I'm the queen of if I like something, I'll get it in every colour because that is literally my whole wardrobe, I'm not going to lie. But love this one. It's such a nice colour. And again, the same nice, thick, stretchy material that's not going to be see-through. And I feel like this one because it's more of like a... Well, to be fair, you can wear either of these on a night out, but I'd wear this one with like... Imagine this with metallic trousers, this little top, some heels. That could be such a nice night out outfit. And I got this one in a size 10 as well. Next thing I picked up with these faux leather trousers. These are cream. I don't own cream faux leather trousers and I feel like they're so classy and so nice for nights out, especially when it's cold. I of these is really nice as well. They're like a really nice thick material and they don't smell. You know that like faux leather fishy kind of smell that you get sometimes? We don't have that, which is ideal. But big pockets at the front as well. Belt loops is with a little button. And then at the back we've got two little pockets as well. These are just so nice and such good quality. Faux leather trousers are such a staple in your winter wardrobe. If you don't own any, this is your sign to invest in some and I feel like you won't ever want to take them off any occasion you go out you'll be wearing some of these so i've got these in a size 10 and they're called the stone faux leather stitch detail wide leg trousers picked up this little mini skirt co-ord this is such a nice thick material we've got an elasticated waistband the skirt doesn't look too short as well it's just kind of like a not really a checkered print but like a i don't really know how you would describe this kind of print though i'm not gonna lie but this is the skirt and then this is the matching top it's the exact same print as the skirt the same material nice and stretchy 
Um, it's like a bardo little top, which isn't very me. I don't usually go for stuff like this, but the actual set together, I think it would look sick with like knee-high boots, black blazer over the top. I think I've got a black blazer actually. But I like this little top because it's a little bit different. It's got like this extra piece of material, so you've kind of got a gap there. You'll see it better when it's on anyway. This is so thick. I know it's not going to keep you warm because realistically your whole shoulders are out, your legs are out. But if you put a blazer and boots on, it's going to keep you so warm because it's such a nice material. And I've not really seen any clothes in this print either, so I thought it was quite sick. A little bit different. So I've got both of these in a size 10. And I'm really excited to style these. This could even potentially be my New Year's Eve night out outfit with these boots and a black blazer because that could look so sick. And moving on, we've got this pair of jeans. I am obsessed with the wash of these jeans. I don't own any jeans like this. They're like a vintagey, not green, but like a washed out blue, kind of yellow tinge denim. Do you see what I'm talking about? These are really low waisted. Um, I've already tried these on and I chef's kiss for these jeans. One of my favorite style and fit and everything pair of jeans I've ever tried on. Material so thick and so soft, but at the same time, it's really nice and structured. Like they're not gonna go flimsy. They're not gonna lose their shape. So a wide leg pair of jeans. Um, I did size up and these, I got these in a the size 12 because I wanted them to be like really baggy, really oversized, really low waisted, like extra slouchy kind of vibes. And again, this isn't something that I'd usually wear. Like this yellow wash denim is just not me. But as soon as I tried these on, I was like, freaking love you these are called the vintage wash mid-rise split hem jeans oh i forgot they had a split hem they've got a little split at the end there like that and plt jeans is where it's at literally 90 percent of the jeans that i own are from plt because they're just the nicest quality such a good price i just find they fit best on me like from other brands jeans and me are just not friends but plt there's always some form of jeans that fit me but these are honestly unreal love these and i picked a top to go with these i haven't tried the top on yet but i feel like the color with these jeans would look really nice. So this is the top that I picked to go over the jeans. I feel like this dark red is just such a nice combo with this colour wash of denim. What do you think? Top is a little bit different for me. Like it's not something I'd usually wear again. I feel like with this haul, I've gone like out of my comfort zone. Stuff that I wouldn't usually wear. Not just like track suits, not just basics. Obviously I had to get a couple of basics, but it's a little bit of a mixed match of stuff that I would actually not usually wear. This top is a little bit more, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like flowery. Don't usually wear red. When I pictured these colours together, I was like, you're coming home with me. There's tops, kind of like a corset style top. Um, it's got like these rose print details all over it. And then it's also got this string, which crosses over at the front, which makes it a little bit more like cool vibes. And it does also have these straps as well. I just don't know if this colour suits me. And then at the back, it does up with a little zip. Imagine this, I'm like, oh, this would have been perfect for like a Christmas outfit. To be honest, I'd wear this at any time of the year. Valentine's Day, this could be cute as well. It's actual boning in the front of the corset as well, so it's going to keep its shape. It's just such a nice quality tar. Just different for me, but we're going to try it on. We're going to see how it looks. It also dips down a bit at the front as well. I feel like it could look sick. Little heels and a little bag on a night out if you're going to dinner. Me and Okarachi are going on a date night tomorrow. Could potentially wear this. I have needed a cropped black puffer jacket for so long. And I don't know why I just don't have one in my wardrobe. Like, what is... Why have I not got a basic black cropped puffer jacket in my life? So I picked up this one from PLT. It is really cropped. And it does have a PLT logo there in brown, which I think is nice. This is like cropped puffer jacket, but cool. Because it's got pocket details on the front. It's elasticated as well. The only thing is, it's going to be cold when you wear this. So maybe... If you're going to brave it and get your belly out, do that. But if not, maybe like a little tight top, that kind of vibe. It's kind of got a funnel neck detail and it zips up at the front and it just goes into like a puffy sleeve with cuffs at the end. I just love this jacket. It's such a nice little jacket that's going to go with literally everything. The only thing is, it's not like, I wouldn't say it's a coat. It's more of like a puffer jacket, if you know what I mean. It's not really, really thick. Like, you can't really rely on it to keep you warm. Lay with little long sleeve tops underneath, you'll be absolutely fine. I like that it's a matte material as well. I don't like shiny coats that much, so... Yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for. So I'm so excited to have this. I don't know, I'm going to wear it to death. And I got this in a size medium. And then next up, I picked up another jacket. I don't really know how to explain the style of this jacket. It's kind of giving like, you know, the faux leather jacket style where it's like biker jacket sort of vibes, but it's not that. It's kind of like a wool material. So it's a little bit more dressy. But I love the style of this. It's such a nice material. Like it's not that itchy material. It's nice and soft. It goes up with a zip down the front, but I'd probably not wear this zipped up, I'm not gonna lie, I'd have it kind of like open. It would look really nice with this tracksuit. This tracksuit is also from PLT, by the way, because I feel like I'm probably gonna get questions. It's also PLT. I needed like a nicer jacket that wasn't leather that I could wear like two occasions, two events, where it's a little bit more dressy. I feel like this is perfect. And I had it in another colour as well. I think it was like a camel colour. So I got this in a size medium and it is like quite oversized already. So if you are thinking about size not when you get this, I wouldn't bother. Got big pocket details on the front as well. Just like a really nice classy jacket. Imagine this with like the nude faux leather trousers, little white top, this over the top, heels or trainers, whatever you want to wear. It's just like a nice way to wear a jacket without the jacket ruining your outfit because that's what I struggle with. I find that coats and jackets, they've completely covered your outfit so it's pointless or they just don't fit the vibe and it's not 
what you were going for but i feel like this is going to be perfect it's such a nice dressy kind of jacket i think we might actually have another pair of boots in this bag i don't actually remember what this is so let's open and find out together have i ordered more black boots no i actually ordered some more black boots did i i did oh i remember these actually yes i picked up another black pair of boots but these ones are so sick give me like designer dupes but the thing i love about these is they're going to be comfy because they're a wedge but you can't see they're a wedge because that material covers it but you haven't got the pain of wearing heels but you've got the luck of wearing heels without it being an actual heel these are unreal and again t-shirts blazers oversized vibes some sick boots like this just completes an outfit i love the fold down detail of boots some people might hate this look but i think it's sick love the silver hardware on these as well and they do have a zip on the inside to get in and out of them so you haven't got to try and force your ankle all the way down the boot they do have a zip but i feel like these i'm gonna get so much use out of these again they've got a pointed front which i think just gives like a more classy finish to an outfit but like there's quite a lot of room in there so we should be fine like with the calf situation but i love these i think because they're wedges you might not get the pain there's a lot more support in there so let's pray that these are comfortable and i can wear them because oh my god i'm obsessed with those i forgot i even picked them so next up kind of basic kind of boring but an essential i picked up a black blazer now i got this to go with that little cohort that i showed you earlier in the black boot i just needed a nice quality blazer all of my blazers are always size up to like a 14 or a 16 i do love that look but with that little cohort i feel like i needed something like a little bit more fitted well i say fitted and this is already an oversized slouchy blazer but i got this in a size 10 which is my size but it's called the extreme oversized blazer so it's going to be big either way some little pocket details on the front it does it with a little button as well there's not really a lot to say about it because realistically it's just a plain black blazer but the quality is unreal i'm going to get so much wear out of this and i feel like this time of year again where you're wearing your little cohorts out and about in your boots it's nice to have something to put on top just to keep you that little bit more warm oh, and i've just realized i've got that same top that i showed you as the first two tops i've also picked it up in chocolate brown as well because obviously two colors isn't enough let's get all three but it's such a nice chocolate brown color it would go really nice underneath this track suit as well i'm actually going to the cinema today so i want to be a little bit more warm than just wearing this i think i want to put this on underneath but long sleeve tops literally can't go wrong so comfy and so perfect for layering so yeah got chocolate brown as well so next up we've got a little cohort and this is like the perfect you know that time between like christmas and then when you go back to work after new year's this is like the perfect cute but lounging around outfit or if you need to go visit family but still want to be comfy these are like the perfect little cohorts to wear so i picked up this little wide leg trouser cohort set the really nice light gray color we've got an elasticated waist and it's got that like what is this called like exposed seam yeah i got that right exposed seam detail all the way down the leg they kind of go out into like little flares at the bottom these are just so easy to throw on and be cute and be comfy at the same time so these are the trousers they haven't got pockets or anything on they're kind of like a knitted stretchy material so you know you're gonna be really comfy all day and they've got these in a size 10 and then it comes with this little matching top this top is so cute so it's a long sleeve top we've got the exposed seam detail on the front as well and i love a high neck especially this time of year it just gives off like even more comfy cozy vibes it's just gonna be this comfiest little outfit to wear all day and realistically i'd wear this with like uggs just to add to the extra comfort but yeah how cute is that little set and i think i also got this top in a size 10 yeah oh my god this is the sickest skirt i think i've ever seen in my life look at this how unreal is that i think i saw india wearing this from love island and she looked unreal in it i was like wow you've convinced me i feel like i need this guy in my life i think they've also got it in pink maybe but this is the premium sequin micro mini skirt i got this in a size 10 it's such good quality as well like it's not flimsy it's kind of like a hard material but it's not gonna be uncomfortable because on the inside you've got like a layer of soft material but how sick is this skirt oh my god again perfect for new year's eve new year's day any occasion that you want to be extra this is the perfect skirt to wear oh my god look at that and i did pick this top to go with it but now that they're together i'm like does it actually go i'm not sure but anyways i picked up this little mesh long sleeve top love the colors on this the blue and the red look sick together and i love the contrast of that with the black mesh sleeves it is mesh so you would well depends how brave you are but i'd wear like a little black triangle bra or something underneath this i don't even know what that pattern's meant to be it's kind of like looks like shoelaces my vision was to wear this with the skirt we'll have to try it on and see if it goes but it might not go but oh my god i love that so i got this top in a size 10 this would just go with literally anything anything basic black skirt black leather trousers red trousers could be sick as well but i love mesh i just love the look of mesh tops i feel like they're so sick that is it that is everything that i picked up from prt thank you to prt for literally spoiling me and working with me on this video i'm excited to try all these bits on now i feel like it's gonna be a long job because i've got a lot to try on and get through but yeah i'm gonna end this video here so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure you give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below for more all the links are down below for you guys as well but yeah thanks for watching happy new year if i don't speak to you before then i'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video